Welcome back to Persona 2 in a... I almost said Persona 2 Innocent Sin. Welcome back to Persona 2 Eternal Punishment. I'm gonna have to get used to that. It won't surprise me if that happens multiple times throughout this playthrough. Last time, we encountered Joker. He activated our personas. Well, actually, it was Philemon who activated our personas. And then Joker disappeared. So hopefully we'll find Joker, and I think specifically we're looking for Anna at the moment because it is believed that she contacted Joker. And now there's demons in the school, so that's great. Let's do it. Yes, let's do it. Well, at least the talking's back. Not really, although I'm not sure how different it is in the PlayStation version. I'm gonna say not really, though. Oh, well, gee, thanks. I know how to contact. No, thank you. Bye. Bye. Well, that was an easy first battle. It does make you wonder, though. How did the counselor get back to her room safely if there's demons in the hallway now? 3B is locked. Well, then let's head downstairs. Maybe to the faculty room? I'm not really sure. Maybe the courtyard. Or the clock tower. So, who wants to have their face smashed in? I don't think anyone wants their face smashed in, really. Let's see. So they're still analyzed. It's worth getting used to the UI in this game. I'm guessing Per, I don't know what per or com means. I'm guessing per is persona? Or maybe that's... I don't know. And then there's the spells. We also can see their strength, all their stats. HP... What is... Oh, per is probably personality. And com is their... Uh, their cards, I guess items we can get. Okay. And the only way to get those is to actually kill them, if I remember correctly, or to actually contact them. We might as well. Blood type. I like how they show the blood type. I don't know why that matters at all, but it's kind of cool. Investigating, interviewing, and fortune telling. Friends? Maybe. A preacher and a good listener. What's Ulala and Katsia's? A stubborn man and an impossible woman. That is a good thing. A preacher, good listener, and a good complainer. Well, that's ooh la la. Alright, well let's just try Maya for now. I like how you can see their relationship based on... the contact system. Interesting. So, you only get one choice, whereas in the PSP version of Innocent Sin, you got four choices for each character, if I remember correctly. That simplifies things. That makes things a lot easier. But also, it makes me wonder. It also makes it so that you'll actually use different characters. But it also makes me wonder if the original PlayStation version of Innocent Sin only had one choice as well, and if that was added in the remake. Also, the devil ghost is Gulm and a fool. We also kind of scared the ghost. How can we see... Interesting. We can't actually see what they look like. 
You have anything to say to your fans? Oh. Maybe I should have read it because now everything seems a bit different. Apparently, the exclamation point now makes them go berserk. I thought that was what the anger mark would do. Because I thought they would give me a card because I was doing that. Can I contact the other one? No, they're also angry. And there's no way to tell. Can I... Is that from analyzing? Currently it's furious. Yeah, I got that. We have the personality. We don't know the calm. I'm guessing we... Kn what is the calm? I don't know what calm is. Because I did think it was the card, but that's devil. Devil is the card you would get. So I don't know what calm is. Interesting. I don't know how to tell how angry or happy something is. I guess I just have to remember in my head the future. Still have strategy. We can change the order, the actions, or stuff, battle mode, normal, or single. I don't know what single is. Oh, I'm guessing normal is it cycles through all three, like it just cycles through the turns as one giant turn, but single is more like a traditional RPG, maybe. Fusion spell, we can't do that. Battle is the only thing I can think to do. Yeah. Ooh la la's dead. We're doing no damage. Interesting. I think we're gonna die. But it is interesting that when I select battle. It just goes. So there's no auto battle like in Innocent Sin. You have to choose your actions in here first. Knowing that makes this interesting. Maybe I'll want to put it at single for now. I don't know what five means. We need to run though. Configuration, simple. What's simple? Cursor memory for battling. No. Okay. Well, let's retreat. Hopefully, we get away. Grab your asses and run! I will, Maya. Okay. Battle system is interesting. I need to remember that triangle is not the menu. It's square. Definitely seems harder. I think that's just because we're at the very beginning of the game. I used up all my medicines already. I need to learn the contact system again. What's going on, Miss Smith? For some reason I thought it was a different name. I think that's also a translation change. Was it Psycho before? Alright, she didn't have anything interesting. Katsuya's talking about his persona. Why, do you not like cats? What's going on, June's father? I don't think so. I think the last battalion's done for. I don't think they're going to be in this game. Although it would be interesting. Maybe he's beginning to go back to that kind of style of believing. What do you need me to help you with? Alright. Clock Tower Key. Well, I guess we're heading to the clock tower. That's why what? Did she call the Joker? 
But who would she call the Joker on? Did she call the Joker on me? I highly doubt it. Maybe she called it on the principal. We have to go up to that clock tower, and I don't know if we'll be able to survive. Maybe we should save real quick. I'm gonna do that. Okay, so, to the clock tower. Maybe we'll clean some demon's clocks along the way. We have those awakens, just in case we fall asleep. But we don't have any more healing, which is not good for us. You're all under arrest! Alright, they all have five. I don't know what that means. Maybe we should try contacting... The Nightmare. Let's try interviewing. I may have to make another chart again. I think that's a. S I think she got scared from that, so maybe we don't want to interview. Timid, gloomy, and fool. Let's try Ulala for fortune telling. She's the exact same as the ghost, only she's more timid. I guess. That's definitely yellow. Alright, so I don't think the exclamation point means anything. I think it's the color beneath them. Okay. Don't look too good, kid. Ah, uh, that's my fault. So what is it now? One scared, one anger, and one eager? Why do I make you mad? Because I hate you. Oh, I can actually say I hate you. I love you. Alright, that works. One more eager and we get some cards. My uncle. Oh, sweet, it worked! Well, that's good, Nightmare. Give me some cards. Six Trit Moon cards. Trit. Tarot. I'm guessing that's tarot. Well, we can start working on getting some new personas now. I don't know whether or not we should be focusing on getting cards. Actually, I think we should. Because we do not have the ability to survive, I don't think. I'm guessing he's once again in the clock tower because everything at Seven Sisters High School happens in the clock tower. Police, everyone freeze! I don't think they're gonna listen to you. Squirrel Girl! Oh, well, you have the same thing, huh? It's, I don't think she's going to believe in the uncle thing. They are demons. Well, that freaked her out. She's arrogant. I'm guessing that's arrogant anyway, and she's a fool. I'm guessing fools like being told their fortune. Aha! Of course, you always want the love fortune. You will! Well, she's about to run away. Honestly, I'd be okay with that. Well, let's see if we can get the cards instead. There's really no point that I know of to look at all of this dialogue. Charms. Uh, 
Well, she's gone. No, we don't drink people. You're a fool. Goodbye, Ratatosk. This is actually good, because now... We can fight this one and maybe get some experience. Yeah. I'll shoot. Wow, that hurts. And that is what single does. That's good. Good to know. Let's try... This is so weird. What is status? Oh, I see. Okay. She has Magna. That's interesting that they let you do all that. Well, let's see. Oh, they show you how the attack averages out using the personas. That's cool. Now, why does her defense go to 9, but her attack goes to 7? Interesting. Well, we might as well be using our personas. Otherwise, I think Ulala -la will die. Hama might be worth it. We'll at least learn if it's weak to Hama for the future. Pixie lovers. Alright, that should be good. Oh, we should have been doing that from the very beginning. Two experience, but 140 in. I have a feeling Ulala's gonna die in this next fight. I have a feeling we're all gonna die. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. Instead of going into the clock tower, I remember in Innocent Sin you could go to the nurse in the janitor's office. So I'm going to run down there, I'll show any battles with new enemies, that way you can see them, but I'm not going to show the run there, because I think that's going to take too much time. And if I don't encounter anything new, I'll just meet you right back at this clock tower, you won't even know that we were gone. Interesting level up screen. What do we have Maya going into? Well, it seems like special attack and special defense are her main priorities. The only thing is, she only has Hama, so I don't see her special attack being important. And I'm guessing that's tech? Yeah. But strength doesn't seem too important either. So I think I'm going to put a bit into luck. If I have any guess, luck is probably chance to hit, and chance to crit. So I imagine that's good for Hama, and I imagine that's good for critical hit chances. And I'm also going to put a bit into Vitality, just for that bit of health. No wait, does it actually? Yeah, it increases health, that's always nice. We're getting one point into an Agility, so that's good. What does agility do? Does it actually show us? No, it doesn't show us the speed stat, but we'll put one into agility anyway. Also interesting, I terrified an enemy through Timid, and it charmed them. And I think the reason why it charmed them was because they had the it had the exclamation point and the blue light. So I think that changes what it does. I wasn't expecting it to be so different. If I knew it was going to be so different, I would have looked at the tutorial. But I think the color beneath the ground, and Katsuya got a bunch of strength, that's probably what he wants to be prioritizing. I didn't get to choose what he leveled up in, by the way. But I think the color beneath the ground is important, and that tells you the basic effect, and if it has an exclamation point, it adds a different effect. Another level up right after? Jeez! I've, I didn't even get another battle in. This is one battle after, and I'm already leveling up again. 
The only problem is, Ulala has been dead for two battles now, so she's two levels behind. And another thing that I'm noticing about the system that I don't like, I don't get to choose the target. Well, who- what do I put points in this time? I could keep putting stuff into tech. And some more into vitality. I think vitality we're gonna want to put some into every single time. Just because that's really important, being able to live. Does strength do anything other than attack? No. So, really there's no reason to put points into strength? Unless you want to increase your attack. And the level up bonus from Maya gives agility, which is nice, because that means I don't have to waste a point putting it into agility, which we also want to put points into. Now, I don't get to choose Katsuya's stats, it does it automatically. And he's putting a bunch into strength. And I think he's putting a bunch into strength because of the persona he has equipped. Also, it's worth mentioning, both Maya and Helios have ranked up several times. And we're at the janitor's room, so we can at least check real quick to see if we need to be healed. There we go. So I think Maya now has Hama, not Hama, Dia. And that's the map. Yeah, she has Hamadia and Aqua now, so she can heal people if she needs to. Ulala's still only level 1, so she only has Magna. He has Single Shot, which does physical and shot type damage. So I think we're gonna want to use that with him, actually, since he's physical damage. Do you think... Do you think that... Single shot base is based off of strength instead of tech. It is, because it says special physical. Wait, it says special physical. So does that mean that it doesn't go off of attack and instead goes off of physical? Don't underestimate me, you bastard! Whoa, ooh la la, jeez. That was unexpected. Also, slimes. We've encountered slimes, but we've never talked to them or fought them, so I figured I'd just show it off. Yes, ask away, little slime. What do I think of slime? Slime looks strong. Oh. Well, I... He's a fool, so I think Ulala can fool him. Yep. See, that was yellow with an exclamation point. So, I don't know if that means I'll get cards or not. I'm good with relationships, and that's definitely happy. Let's just keep going for the cards, I guess. Although... That'll make the battle end, and I think Ulala could probably go for some experience. Yeah, we'll kill him. Uh, don't be silly. What am I gonna do about it? I'm gonna kill you. Something. You're gonna try to melt me, but I'm gonna melt you. Unless you kill U Please don't kill Ulala again. I didn't mean to do that. That was an accident. Well, she ranked up, that's good at least. I meant to go into strategy, because Maya needs to heal Ulala. At least they let me choose that. Katsuya, you start using 
single shot, because I think that's physical damage. Oh, they do let me choose the enemy. I'm just really dumb. Alright, well, there goes that complaint. It just didn't make it very clear. And I guess you'll keep using Magna. I don't really know what Ulala -la should be focusing on yet. Alright, there's the Dia. It's over. There's a cat shooting a gun. Didn't think I'd see that very often. No reason to waste the Dia this time. Instead, let's start using Aqua. The rest, though, can do their thing. I think the main priority here is to rank up our personas. It looks like it's weak to water. We'll hear your excuses at the station. Katsuya's so cool. He's what everyone should strive to be. What is Ulala going into? I didn't even get to see because it did it automatically for me. When I was least expecting it. I think this episode might wind up being all combat. I don't like episodes like that, but it's our first instance of Persona 2 Eternal Punishment combat. And while it's pretty much the same as Innocent Sin, the UI is so different that I'm having a hard time with it. Although I think I'm getting the hang of it now. Oh, the big demon. Well, we might want to contact him. Guzfan. Or maybe we should just try and kill him? Can I fusion spell? I can. Let's just do it. We can... Yeah? What does this mean? Let's just do that, I guess. Battle? I think it worked. Yes, it did. Cool. Uh, not the slime. Guzfan. Oh, there's two slimes! Guzfan is so large that I didn't get to see. Any mutations? No. Are mutations even in this game? Interesting. That the game... If you choose fusion spell, it only works once. And you have to redo it. We got some medicine, that's nice. Also worth noting, our SP does appear to restore. Yeah. So that's nice. And there's something behind this tower. You can hear the heartbeat. Alright, let's see. Maybe I should have healed first. Oh, they're still giving me the chance. Nah. I just saved, it's fine. You know what's brilliant about this? They get to reuse the same set pieces that they made in the last game. That's genius. Interesting. So Choker's after Anna. Anna was Scorpio. Guys, I'm really beginning to think... No. It can't be. It can't be. Never mind. But, that does more or less confirm that Anna called for him. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it was her sister that called Joker.
Or maybe this guy was partners with her on the... in Earth-1. The other side. So does that mean that Earth-1 is still there? I honestly believe him. I don't think he will hurt her. I think he would have by now. Number 501, get away from that girl. 501. I still don't understand don't that. Get in my way. You can just play with them. Play with who? Oh. They look slightly Powerful. All right, we need a strategy. Can we contact? Them? No. That's one of the problems I had with the first game. Well, I think a fusion spell might be effective here. Listen to this music, man. Impusas just went. She can inflict a status effect. We don't know what Apep can do. They're both probably gonna wind up being wind since they can fly. That's why I decided to use Stone Rise. I think they're gonna be weak to Earth. So do we go after Apep, or do we go after Impusas? We know Impusas can do something, I don't remember what it was. I think we're gonna go after the Apep, hopefully kill them before they get a chance to act on us. Everyone, get in, get in! Plus we might get a mutation, which would be nice. No, we did not kill. And they hurt a lot, okay. They didn't hurt Katsia that bad. Well, let's change our actions real quick. We're gonna want Ulala. -la. She has Poisma. Do you think I can inflict poison on one of these guys? That's something I've always wanted to happen in these games. We'll see. Meanwhile, we'll continue to single shot this Apep. I'm guessing it's close to death now. And Maya's going to heal herself. something. Apep was not poisoned. Go. Maya is what? LSN. Hold on, let me analyze this demon. It doesn't tell me the moves even though they've used it? I couldn't read what she said fast enough. Maya's... LSN. I don't know what that means. But it can't be anything good. Katsuya, you're getting hurt. I don't know... Which Apep we were weakening. I think it was this one. Katsuya, you keep using single shot. Maya, you use Dia on Katsuya instead. You could use it. Bufu, that's not good. Ooh la, la might die. These Apeps are strong. The Impusas can heal. I've made a mistake. I can't retreat. I don't have 
I do have a ball of returning. Katsuya, you use an item of medicine on yourself. You're gonna cancel that, though. Maya uses hers. Alright, let's see here. So Katsuya, you keep using the medicine, but this time you're gonna use it on... Ooh la la. Ooh la la, you're gonna use Magna on... We have to kill the Impusas. We don't have a choice, really. Do you think it could be hit with Hama? I doubt it. I doubt they're gonna let a boss be one hit kill. But, this is not just your typical boss fight. She dodged the water. I think that was a dodge. It looked like a dodge. I don't think it was a nullify. I think we're dead. This game's already turning out to be harder than the first one. But that's because the first one had that difficulty glitch. Yeah, I don't think there's anything we can do here. We could have Maya heal. But will that be helpful is the question. It'll of course be helpful, but... Alright, let's do this. Maya, you heal... Katsuya. Ooh la la, you continue to Magna... Impusas. Katsuya, you use single shot on the Impusas. Let's try that. So Katsuya's good for a while, the, the Apeps are gonna kill one of us. Unless they both go after Katsuya, that's the dream. I could have cancelled that, but I didn't really see the point. I think we're dead. It's over. You're right, but it's over for us, not them. So what was the mistake there? Well... Was this supposed to happen? He who is enchanted by the shadows... That's either gonna be Joker or Tatsuya. Do you think he's saying once more because Maya already died? Do you think Maya is kind of immortal because of that? Anyway, that was a game over. So what went wrong? Don't start that. I don't want to be copyrighted. I'm not going to risk it. So... I think the problem was, we didn't go after Impusas first. Because she has that heal, she, were, she was able to negate all of the damage we did to that one Apep, which completely screwed us over. So the next time we go after her, which will be next episode, we will go after Impusas first, and the Apep's second. My battle plan will be Diffusion Spell. So until then, thanks for watching. Have a good night.
Bye-bye.